morning guys, welcome to today's video. You're in for a treat today. Today is gonna to be a full day of eating, but today we're gonna to switch up the style of editing, the style of cinematography. We're gonna switch it up today. Sergio is gonna give you like a Netflix, like welcome to the life of Sean Coker, the Sean Don, yada, 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 kind of Netflix series kind of vibe today. So we're gonna be doing a lot of, I'm not, I'm not even gonna talk about it. You guys will watch the video. Let me, let me know if you guys enjoy it, comment down below. But today we're doing a full day of eating, but first up before we do that, Gotta give you all a physique update. I feel like I haven't done this since Miami. But um rocking the Mamba shorts today. Here's the front side. Is the lighting good? Yeah. Front side. I'm around 216 right now. Um prior to Miami, I was like down to like 210. Um I have put back, I guess three to five pounds back um since Miami. I've kind of been eating freely, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but this week I've kind of got back on my diet and I'm I'm gonna show you guys what I eat to get back on track. So Here's a front look flexed, side look flexed. To be honest guys, I kind of just feel like I'm holding more water than I normally would or than I was like than two weeks ago. But um, feeling pretty good, man. Can't really see how I look. So I'm looking in this big body mirror. But I feel like I still maintain the lean. The abs still there. Um, if you go back to the first video that we did this whole cut series with, mini cut series with, I definitely did not look like this. So um, I'm pretty happy confident, happy with the way I look. I know that with a full week of dieting, cardio, we got a cool new cardio tool at the warehouse that we're gonna start using a lot. With a full week of that and all that stuff, I'll be back where I want to be in no time. But first up, we got the first meal of the day. We have some Kodiak cakes, buttermilk, some pico de gallo with the egg whites. We have some turkey bacon. It's the first meal, we're gonna whip it up. We're gonna show you all the finest fried product. I'm kind of rusty, guys. I haven't used a, a waffle maker in like forever. When you get on meal prep companies, you kind of forget, not forget how to cook, but you just get used to not cooking. So I'm definitely in one of those phases. So this, bear with me. Today might be a little rough. <laughs> but good thing is that they have, they have this thing around it. So that's pretty fucking hot, man. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right guys, so for the first meal of the day, whoa, for the first meal of the day, we have this beautiful, thick, waffle, hot, juicy, amazing waffle. I'm not gonna lie, if you go back and look at my old videos, I never made a waffle like this. Like, this is insane. This Breville, I, I got corrected, I thought it was a Breville. The Breville, the Breville waffle maker makes phenomenal waffles. I know I'm touching this with my hands. But man, this is a thick, juicy waffle. Definitely needs some syrup though. We got a cup of egg whites, two strips of turkey bacon, some decaf coffee, because I'm still not drinking a lot of caffeine. Decaf and espresso coffee. This meal right here, 52 grams of protein, 60 grams of carbs, and 13 grams of fat, which equates, I think, to 540 calories for the first meal of the day. Something I'm not exact, but something around that number. Um, I'm gonna try to have five to six meals today, and you guys are gonna see all of them. Like, can't you, like, Aren't you guys so lucky? You guys get to watch me eat five meals today? Those of y'all that get turned on by watching people eat, are you about to get really turned on today? Mm-hmm. Honestly, like, the previous owner prior to this, prior to me, had hunt, uh, our country station in Houston stored on his presets. And I think the other day I was throwing away some trash doing some truck shit. And uh, I s s scrolled upon our country station and brought me back to my days. I used to, I'm actually not opposed to country music, um, as hard as that is to believe. I actually like a couple, I like a, I like a lot of country music. It's a good step away from like, I shot your wife, I shot your kids. It's a good break away from that kind of music. And honestly, it's very soothing, especially on a day like this. <laughs> It really sets the tone, but anyways, on a serious note, I'm running 20 minutes late for a meeting that I have this morning. Today's a very, 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 very,
Very, now I can't stop. Very big day for Anarcha Power. We have a supplement meeting with our manufacturers, um, deciding the taste, quantity, blends, all that good jazz. We'll share a little bit with you guys. Won't share too much. Just know it's a big day. Anarcha Power Supplements, Power Supplements to be exact, coming to a store near you. Without the image, so like it was tough. Like really? I had to like redraw it. it. Takes talent, man. We only want talent around here, man. That's why he's here. It takes talent to take something like that. No files, no nothing. Just brain, and skill, hey. power. What do you got? What is it? Where's your company? Uh, Balinese decals. Balinese decals. Yeah. Spell it out. It's B A L A N I Z decals. Uh, you can find me on Instagram. It's Balinese decals. Sick. You heard? Maybe a few scenarios. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Yeah, it looks good. For sure. Took a ride in the company truck, company expense, company purchase. Tax ride on. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be awesome. Did we actually buy the display? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Might get a basketball goal and a ping pong table, man. Fuck with us. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, man. We're about to find out, bro. Let's go. Thank you, daddy. All right. <laughs> no. I'm trying to get on the Facebook, uh, <laughs> yeah. Facebook vibes, bro. Yeah, we're definitely we're trying to get the company culture. He used to say finish it. Okay. Yeah, you can come on. It's like, come on. Kidding, I was kidding. Let me really, let me tap in, let me tap in. Here we go. That's tough. It was like, it's throwing me off right now. It's spectators and shit. So. <laughs> I fucking, like, killing you. Someone on my Q&A's just asked me if I can clench my butt cheeks, spell butt wrong, and walk around or walk normally at the same time. Let's give it a test. Uh, oh, there's another guy behind you. <laughs> test it out. Yeah, you're killing it, to be honest. You're yeah. fucking killing it right now. What song was I singing yesterday? Oh, uh... <laughs> that one. The down one oh, was singing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How was I doing it, though? <laughs> you were yelling it just like the song. Oh. <laughs> down with the sickness! <laughs> you know the song, Sam? No, 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 down with the sickness! What the fuck? <laughs> How, you know the Spanish song? Oh. Let's see if I can find it. Look up down with the sickness. Yeah, it's down with the sickness. Oh. That's spot on her. He's about to serve. Yeah, Max was getting angry. Yeah, he was. He was like, he was like, he's like, he's like bro, it's a good yeah, he name, was offended. It's a good song. <laughs> he was like, bro, no, it's not. <laughs> Remember I said uh, Matt was an iguana boy? It's because I can spot an iguana boy from a, lo a, a mile away. I used to be an iguana boy. Check this out, man. Look at that. You could tell me and that, that, that python. We were getting along. That guy's kind of like, he's on me. <laughs> Look at the way that guy behind me is. 
that's crazy. <laughs> oh, you look, right? Looks like we're all having a good time. <laughs> He's a little excited. Yeah. That dude is excited. <laughs> Look at this dude behind me, Sam. <laughs> so we bought a basketball goal and a ping pong table. I don't play ping pong. Well, I do play ping pong, I just don't play on their level. I'm actually like a professional ping pong player, so. To them, I don't play it, but you know, you know, basketball, huh? ping pong is like my number one sport, so I won't embarrass them, but we got this basketball goal that we're about to set up. But in the meantime, since it's Friday, we ain't got no job. <laughs> we got shit else to do. We're about to go get some brewskis. Damn. Y'all share that out. Ooh, we all suppose. Tell me what you think about it. And uh, make sure everybody gets some because it's Ooh. good. It makes you want to drink more beer. All right, guys, so I just did some suburban things. Just dropped off $1,126. I don't know, maybe I'm tripping, but I feel like that's a lot of money. $1,126 just to ask them, ask, ask them if we can build a pool. That's not even including like, I mean, obviously that's not including the, the amount you have to pay for the pool. But I think that's pretty absurd that you have to pay that much money just to ask them. And the thing is, is I don't, it's not a refundable deposit. So like you're giving them a thousand dollars, hoping that they'll approve this this uh, pool bill that you, you've got scheduled out. And uh, I guess you wait. So now we just wait. But um, Sir Sergio's playing clips over right now. As you, as I told you guys, or as we told you guys when we first moved into the house. The pool was something we wanted to get started with ASAP, and we're doing that. Penna Pools, P-E-N-A Pool Designs, um, is hooking it up with a really good deal on a very, very state-of-the-art, beautiful, amazing pool um, that he's putting together for us. Um, I think I can actually show you guys pictures since there's a huge weight. He's hooking it up with this pool, man. Like, this pool is gorgeous. So, we have... Can you see that? Yeah. We got the pool pool view at night, pool view, uh, aerial view, um, side view or from the back, another side view. Man, this thing's going to be beautiful, man. I can't wait. Um, obviously, it's going to take about, <laughs> no, obviously, I didn't know this. <laughs> Apparently, it takes six to eight weeks, but I'm planning for like eight to ten weeks, especially with how everything went with our home build. Whenever someone tells me that something's going to take a certain amount of time, I add about two to four weeks extra. But I'm excited for that, man. I think the thing with Houston, the beauty, the beauty of Houston, I don't know if it's a beautiful thing, but it stays hot here like year round. So like, let's say we're in July right now and this, this pool is finished by like September, October-ish maybe. Um, that's still gonna be good. It's still gonna be freaking hot. <laughs> it's still gonna be like 90 degrees here. So I'm excited to use it. Got a hot tub, got a nice little layout area because you know I need to tan. And then we have um, some pool area and stuff like that. So, six to eight weeks, I'll walk you guys through the process. For any of you guys that are interested in building a pool at your house, I'll walk you through as much as possible just to kind of give you guys uh, an honest, I guess, take on how everything goes. You like Adam Nakapai, we just stay winning, man. You got test. oh shit, look. That broke his car. So I can just do it like that? That yeah, looks a lot better. Off. And then you just put the cat, the Tesla cap on there. Oh the shit, like there. that? Yeah, you just pop it off. Damn. A cap, uh, he just I has to buy that. One. Oh. Yeah, they're cheap. He's got all the goods, by the way. Oh, dope. Damn. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Those who don't know. Yeah, yeah, Reed is the guy who makes our shirts at a knock of power. Well, that's, that's he has his own manufacturing good. plant here in Houston, Texas, not too far away from here. So we get all our custom shirts made by him. Super premium quality, yeah. high quality clothing. Um, he just got a Tesla. Big how things. You, how do you feel? I feel pretty confident now. Right. He has a car and once, right? 
I had to join the Tesla boys right here. He has the Model Y, he has the Model X, so I had to do the Model 3. Now what's next, Ant? You're gonna get the Plaid? It's the ass. <laughs> it's the ass. Either the three or the truck. <laughs> Boy's gonna pull up in a plaid. Yeah, I'm looking into that truck too, bro. Get Danny right here, pulling in all these goods. Poor Danny. I need to like, I need to actually get, uh, get Matt to do the same, the, the tour. You should keep your regenerative braking on though. You, you like it when I let off the... Yeah, you're supposed to. It, it saves your battery life a lot. Oh, then turn that thing on. <laughs> Peace out, brother. Right, hey, bro. Sweet. It's so quiet. Uh, can I get a grilled chicken sandwich? Would that be the meal? Uh, no, just an entree. Anything else? And then a 12 count of grilled nuggets, honey mustard sauce. Alright guys, so for the second meal of the day, we have a beautiful chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A. 5 grams of fat, 40 grams of carbs, and 30 grams of protein. We have some grilled chicken nuggets. It's plain and simple. Grilled chicken nuggets. It says this has 38 grams of protein, but that is a damn lie. I'm going to go ahead and say this has 20 grams of protein max. Um, these two together, probably about 50 grams of protein total. 45 to 50 grams of protein. Um, carbs, I would believe it's like 40 to 45. Fats would be 10 to 12 for these two combined. Um, Complementing it with the honey mustard, which has not a lot of mac uh, calories in it. Um, this is my second meal of the day. And honestly, if you're on the go, the reason I did this meal is because if you're on the go and you want something that's fulfilling, healthy, or somewhat healthy, clean, and does the job, Chick-fil-A is always gonna be the move. I used to, I used to hate their um, their grilled chicken growing up because I mean everyone loved their fried chicken more. But as I've gotten older, man, I don't know if they've enhanced their recipe, but their grilled chicken sandwich is ten times better than what it used to be. Or maybe I'm just getting older. Who knows? So, just picked up the doggies from doggy daycare, and this is their report card. Apparently they did really well, really, really well. They got invited back. And um, since we now live in, this, in the suburbs now, this is gonna be like their new like daycare. We used to take them to another daycare in Houston, but since we live out here in Sugarland, Maybe their new daycare, a good place to drop them off. Whatever, we have a lot of stuff going on at the house, so we're both busy and stuff like that. We can play and like have fun, meet with other dogs, and I'm sure I'm gonna hear, hear a lot about King's friends tonight when we get home. All right, guys. So I just got back from a long day. Didn't work out today. I actually played basketball instead. Burnt about 500 calories, 500 plus calories. Killed it. Our team won. Shout out to me and Sergio. I've um, been on a winning streak lately. But for the third meal of the day, we're going to be doing, or actually third and fourth. Got a lot of fiber, a lot of greens right here, some fruits and stuff like that. Mama Guzman hooked it up. Um, she knows me and Christian are both summer shredding right now. So we're trying to get in the best shape of our life. <laughs> it's good, not best shape of our life. We're trying to get lean for the summer. And she's been hooking it up with some healthy ass food. So we have some veggies, uh, lettuce, peppers, uh, celery, you can get some grilled chicken breast in there, some blueberries, a bunch of good stuff in here. And I actually have a very good diet hack right here. If you're someone who likes salads while on prep or anything like that, we have the lemon basil and the creamy creamy Caesar sauce from Bowhouse Farms. 45 calories per se per serving. Yeah, 45 calories per serving. These things are really good. I'm about to eat that with that. And then over here, um, I told her I was really watching my carbs and she's been hooking up with high protein, um, low carb meals. So we have some sweet potatoes, a very small amount, like one ounce and four ounces, 
four ounces of ground beef, lean ground beef, some broccoli, and to kind of substitute and give you that fulfilling feeling, fulfilling feeling, we have some cauliflower medley here, um, which, I mean, technically I don't really count this. I don't count it at all, actually. But um, this is gonna be my dinner for tonight. And then after this, I have my favorite meal of the day, which I'm gonna show you guys after I shower and stuff like that. But for now, this is what we have. But I'm gonna show you what you should be eating when you're trying to cut weight and what you shouldn't. As you guys know, if you don't know, uh, the homie and I, the homie Brad and I, uh, we've been cool for quite a while. And whenever we link on Instagram, he used to live down here. He moved out to Florida and they've been killing it in the cookie business. Pretty sure they're number one uh, in the cookie industry. I think they are, they're not. Um, their cookies are fucking amazing. He sent over some cookies, man. Just when I'm trying to get right, he sends over like the best tasting cookies in the world. We have the fat and weird razzle dazzle. Like, I kind of feel like I should open one just to like show you guys, but if I open one, I'm gonna like tempt myself to eat it. But I got you, he hooked it. <laughs> he hooked it up, man. He fucking hooked it up. Like, check this out. Like, school aid. Like, come on, man. Ah! So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stow these away. Probably need to refrigerate them, right? Probably refrigerate, I'm gonna refrigerate them. Ooh, he sent me some cookie butter too. This, I might actually be able to eat. I don't think the macros on this are that bad. Two, two tablespoons, 12 grams of fat. If I'm ever low on fat, I might be able to fit this in. Oof, strawberry shortcake cookie butter. Oh my God, this on some rice cakes. Oh my God. So, send me this. Um, I have one to two cheat meals over the weekend. So what I'll do is I'll be good the rest of this week work hard for these and that's that's the beauty of it if you work hard during the week and you, you're working out every day you're doing your cardio um you're hitting your diet consistently when you have cheat meals like this it makes it 10 times worse it makes it 10 times worth it so um huge shout out to brad and fat and weird cookies for sending me these i'm about to shower and i have some cool stuff to show you around the house after i shower all right guys so for the final meal of the entire day this is one of my favorites um, this isn't going to be the only last, the only meal of the day, but this is going to be one of the final meals of the day. I don't know if that made sense. I'm very tired. Um, we have a protein shake, but this isn't your ordinary protein shake. This is a high protein, ultra delicious protein shake. And I'm going to show you how to make it. We have some fat free milk. You can go to your grocery store. You can find this anywhere. Um, the cool thing about this obviously is because it's, it's fat free. Um, if I'm ever, like right now, I'm pretty low on my fats. If I'm low on my fats, having this, <clears throat> just in case you wanna get some milk in um, and don't wanna waste all your fats on milk, this is a huge, huge saver. So I'm gonna pour about a cup in here, cup of milk in there, and then for extra protein, we'll go with some egg whites, a cup right there, and <clears throat> if you're wondering how the hell I know if it's a cup or not, trust me, I know <laughs> I know when a cup is. I've been doing this for a very long time. Um, and two, I don't have a cup. I don't have a. I don't have measuring cups, and I also don't have a weight scale, a food scale. So that's going to be coming in soon. But I'm pretty much eyeballing it. And today I've been pretty good on my macros, so I know there's a little bit of space to wiggle with or play with. So this is going to be a scoop of protein right there so we're all set on protein for sure now <laughs> completely set on protein blueberries we're gonna grab a handful right there no more than like 20 grams of blueberries nothing crazy for strawberries we'll go with like 100 grams 100 grams of strawberries in there and then for the best part i probably won't do this whole thing um i'll do like half We'll do some bananas. I'm telling you guys, what if you guys make this at home, man? This shit, this shit changes lives, man. And I know you can probably get this at your your local smoothie shop or whatever, but it's it's not the same. It's not the same. When you make a smoothie at home and you make a good one, wow, the sun's just recently this took the lead. Wow, watching hopefully the last game of the NBA Finals, but the fucking Bucks are fucking up right now. 
But anyways, like I was saying, when you when you make your own smoothie at home, man, it just hits different, man. It just hits different. You just feel a lot better about it. You know what's going into it. And um, it just tastes better. I, I personally believe that making good, a good smoothie at home just tastes 10 times better than getting a smoothie at Smoothie Factory. Unless you go to Juice Land. Juice Land has some good ass smoothies. I'm not gonna lie to you. I can't compete with Juice Land. But <laughs> these are pretty good homemade smoothies. So if you haven't tried this before, if there's anything you take away from this video, it's this smoothie. And buy you a Nutribullet, man. These things are fucking amazing. Nine times out of ten, when you blend it, it comes out smooth as fuck. Like, look at that. Super blended. This is it right here, man. This is it. I'm gonna chill, watch the Suns and Bucks game. They're playing game six. I'm going for the Bucks. I want the Bucks to win. Um, I think they can win. Um, they're down by five right now, and or down by seven now, going into the half. Game six, three, two, Buck lead. Um, I think Giannis is gonna wake up in the third, most likely the fourth quarter and realize this is as close as he's gonna to get to a finals or a championship in his entire career. So he better take advantage of it. Same thing with Chris Middleton, Drew Holiday, PJ Tucker. Of course, I'm a huge fan of PJ Tucker. Um, he's really close to getting his NBA ring. Literally four, 24 minutes away from getting his NBA ring. So they'll lock down, they'll get it, to, they'll, they'll get it together and they'll win. Hopefully in the next video, they're NBA championship, NBA champions. That note, I'm going to roll it out this weekend. Figured I'd throw that in there. Um, I love you guys. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>